She's the only superintendent Rio Rancho Public Schools has ever known. And now Dr. Sue Cleveland will be sticking around a little longer. Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer is live at the Rio Rancho District offices with more. Shelly, good evening. The board is giving Dr. Sue Cleveland a $22,000 raise. Now, at last night's board meeting, Dr. Cleveland said she didn't even want this raise, but board members tell me tonight that if they didn't pay up now, it could cost them down the road. Across New Mexico, superintendents don't seem to last very long. Over the summer, Albuquerque Public School Superintendent Winston Brooks resigned. Over the weekend, news broke that Santa Fe Superintendent is leaving for greener pastures in Texas. It's a trend Rio Rancho School Board President Charles Harper says the district wants to avoid. If we were to have to replace Dr. Cleveland, we'd be paying a lot more than $180,000 for a quality superintendent. The board voted unanimously to boost Dr. Sue Cleveland's pay from $158 to $180,000 a year. She's been with the district since its creation in 1994. Harper says it's the first significant pay raise she's had in nearly six years. He says what Dr. Cleveland has done for the district as it's grown from 6,000 to 17,000 students under her watch makes her a valuable commodity. Look at the results. Uh, we're, you know, depending on the stat you look at, uh, we're number one or two in every category. Under Cleveland's guidance, Rio Rancho has a graduation rate around 84 percent, one of the highest in the state. It also has some of the best test scores. Harper estimates it would have cost the district around $250,000 if it had to find a comparable candidate to replace her. I have great admiration for her, and uh, she is very deserving. If she was public sector, she'd be making a lot more than this. The board evaluates the superintendent each year, and this race here was a culmination of that evaluation. Reporting in Rio Rancho, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News. Her pay raise will take effect this June. Cleveland's contract was also extended through 2018. A big drop in